We've had 12 teams now rumored in uh, the Peyton Manning sweepstakes. Give us the worst scenario for Peyton Manning, the worst fit for him if he went out there as a free agent and signed with somebody. Yeah, as reported, there are 12 teams interested in him. I would say the New York Jets would be the worst of those 12 for many reasons. There's so many moving parts right now with this team. Starting up top with Rex Ryan, he's trying to get the identity of this team back. He's trying to make sure that they know he's in charge, and he's trying to show them a new mantra, a new way of playing Jet football. And then the locker room and all the issues that they have, whether it's Antonio Holmes and Mark Sanchez or just that disruptive of a locker room, Peyton Manning can come in there and stabilize it, but understand, He's new to that situation, so some guys may not jump on board as fast as others. And then you just think about on-the-field personnel. And I hate to pick on someone, but Wayne Hunter at the offensive tackle position, this entire offensive line is not the same offensive line that went to two straight AFC championship games. So if you're Peyton Manning with limited mobility and also you have four procedures on your neck, do you want to stand behind this offensive line? The running game inconsistent at times. The defense took a minor step back last year. Just a lot of moving parts. That's a great point. No one brings it up, at least not often enough. The offensive line and protecting Manning. Yeah. A huge point for him wherever he goes. You will not be replaced here in the studio. But I am gargantuan. <laughs> Marcel Wiley, big boy with us this morning on SportsCenter. <laughs> Told you. <laughs>